for the record, I saw this film about two weeks ago at its New York City premiere, and I really just wanted to wait a bit till I saw it again at Brooklyn Horror Fest to fully summarize my thoughts. On the off chance that any of them watch this, shout out and apologies to the cast and crew of this film for entertaining my embarrassing drunken ramblings for way longer than they should have. So, let's talk about sex work. Cam comes to us from the writer-director team of Issa Maze and Daniel Goldhaber, and it stars Madeline Brewer as Alice, a cam girl who is really trying her hardest to make it to the top of the charts at freegirlslive.com. And one day she attempts to log in, only to discover that she's completely locked out of her account, and there is someone or something that looks exactly like her streaming under her name. So let's talk about Cam. Issa Maze wanted to write a film that was based on her true life experience as a former camp girl, and decided to team with longtime friend Daniel Goldhaber to create a film that intended to normalize sex work through the lens of a genre film. This sounded awesome as hell in the buzz I was hearing, so I was super excited, and I was lucky enough to see this at a fantastic fest screening in New York City. And let me tell you that Mazzy and Goldhaber succeeded because Cam is awesome. What the two of them created here is not only a film that does an incredible job at helping you empathize with a sex worker, which in and of itself is wonderfully subversive and cool, but it also manages to be absolutely terrifying with very little effort. In 2018, the notion of being locked out of your own account is a very real fear that people have. But what happens when your account is then being used by someone who looks exactly like you, and they have access to all of your information and all of your fans, and everybody thinks it's you? That is where Cam succeeds at being a horror film. The technicals of this film are pretty much all fantastic, from the gorgeous, vibrant, neon-lit cinematography and set design, to the droney, synthy score, to the incredibly effective and tense editing. It's all great, but those aren't the reasons I love this movie. Madeline Brewer gives an incredible, immersive, fantastic dual performance. One that you completely lose her in to the point where you forget she's acting at all and all you see is Alice and, by extent, Lola. But that isn't why I love this movie. No, the reason I love this movie is the breathtakingly subversive, honest writing. Mazzy's writing from true-to-life experiences really helps to sell this film, and it really just makes it feel as authentic as possible. The details of the emotional toll it's all taking on Alice really feel raw and realistic, and you can relate to them incredibly. When the cops prove to be no help to her situation, and instead pass judgment and proceed to grill her on her career choices. You feel every ounce of frustration and anger that Alice does. And at least part of that bit is because that's an actual exchange that Issa Maze had, as she detailed in the Q&A after. It all lends a level of realism to this film that is surprising given the supernatural elements of it, and I really, really appreciated that. So we're going to deep dive for a bit and talk about the more allegorical natures of the narrative, and if you want to skip that because it might be a little spoilery, click this to this part right here, just if you want to, you know, skip this bit of discussion and watch it for yourself and see if you can figure it out. Hearing Mazzy talk about Alice's doppelganger and what it meant to her and how she interpreted it was truly fascinating. As a former cam girl, she discussed the surreality of other people stealing her work and uploading it to other places without crediting her. How it strips you of your identity and your agency. How at times people wouldn't even use her name in the re-uploads and instead just describe her using her physical features. And how that's both dehumanizing and horrifying. And to take that sort of scenario and to spin it into something as unique as a doppelganger stealing your account and all of your life information because it's all online, that's goddamn brilliant. Guys, at the end of the day, like I said, Cam is fucking awesome. I won't go so far as to say it's one of the best genre films in recent years, but I will say that it's one of the most important genre films in recent years, at least from a social perspective. It challenges the audience's point of view on the sex work industry, and it takes a lot of tired genre tropes and flips them on their head, and it's all incredibly satisfying, and I really, really appreciated it. It also happens to feature two specific scenes that creeped me the fuck out. And that's awesome, and that's hard to do. And for all of that, I'm gonna say that Cam is a must-see. And stylish, and cool, and important, and honestly, guys, I cannot recommend enough that you check it out when it comes to Netflix later this year. You will not regret it at all. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this channel and you want to see more, click down there, like, comment, subscribe. There's a Patreon link in the description. If you want to support this channel and help me make new and better videos and make better content for you all to enjoy, consider donating. Even a dollar helps, guys. It, it really would mean the world to me. But even if you don't, thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you all very soon.